Hi guys, welcome back to UK Fly Fisher. I have a brand new fly tying demonstration for you today. And in today's episode, I'm going to be tying the Dirty Montana Bug. Now this fly is a copy of Kieran Jenkins' Dirty Olive Bug, which appeared in issue six of today's Fly Fisher. So if you haven't read that yet or seen the fly, uh, make sure you check out their website. I'll put a link to the description below to get your hands on the magazines. Um, it's a great little fly. I'm finding a lot of success when teaming this up with a cruncher on the dropper. Uh, for me, it's the Viva Cruncher. This and the Viva Cruncher on the dropper is catching me a lot of fish this winter, and I highly recommend giving them a tie. So without any further delay, let's have a look how I tie this fly. So for the hook and device, we've got the Fario Wet Fly. This is a size 10 barbless. And we've got three millimeter chain bead chartreuse eyes. I've just tied them in with the 140 UTC black. And I'm just gonna come in here and put down a layer of tying thread and back up between the eyes. Then just simply come in and snip away the waist piece. Now for the tail of the fly, I'm gonna be using Blob and Buzzers Black Marabou. Really enjoy their products. I love working with Andrew Humphrey, he's a great guy. Get over there and support him if you're buying materials. I'm just going to come in, I've taken off the waist pieces at the bottom and I want about an inch, maybe an inch and a half worth of material. Pinch them together and then just play with them in your thumb and finger so they behave. And then come in and snip away this waist at the bottom before pulling away the fluff so you've got an even neater tying point and then pinch and loop. Tie that tail on top before coming underneath for the last turn and then back on top and up. Now for the size of the tail, we want it to be one to one and a half times the length of the hook. I just find putting my thumb and finger together often gives me the right length and then pull away the waist like so. It's not a huge lure. It's the kind of thing you want to go to when the big lures are switched off. I'll put this on the point and then a cruncher on the dropper. That's working really well for me at the moment. As always, I'm going to put flash in my tail. So I'm going to be using the Kindale flies and this is the fine holographic red. Really nice color on that really good material to work with. And then I'm also going to be using the Venyard's Mirror Flash. This is the crinkled version. And I want one strand of each. So I'm going to line up the tips of this material. And then I'm going to tie it in to the length of the tail on my side first. So just going to catch it in there before taking it up and around the beads. Between the eyes and back down on your side and then just tying it in the full length before coming back up and see how that's sitting on your side adjust it now if you need to adjust it no point in doing it later and then cut it to the length of the tail like so now for the rib of the fly I'm going to be using that BR red this is the ultra wire and I'm just going to come in catch it on the side of our flight and tie it down the entire length of the hook till I get to where I finish the tail. And then for the body, I'm going to be using that new Montana Black dubbing that I've created with Vicuna dubbing. You can see here the red and the chartreuse show through. Really good material, especially for nymphs, um, black lures, tadpoles, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to come in and dub that on. It's working really well and I'm using it on a lot more flies, so you'll see it a lot more on my channel. And if you want to purchase any, I'll leave links in the description below. Um, get in touch with David and Faye over at Vicuna Dubbing. Great people and they'll sort you out. So I'm just going to tie that the entire length. If you one more turn around that head, take away any waste pieces. Just put that to one side because we're going to need that in a minute. And then I'm going to take four turns in the opposite direction with my wire. One, two, three, four. Before catching it in just behind the eyes like so, and then bend and break away the waist piece. Now to finish the fly with the dubbing you put to one side, we're gonna come on and we're just gonna figure eight between the head. Just gonna come in with the Montana black dubbing again. Dub it onto our tying silk, figure eight it in that head. Like so, before coming in at the front, Put on some clear Vanyard's varnish, just to keep it a little bit secure. 
and then whip finish. I always pull backwards with the tang silk. This just pulls any fibers that are going forwards back, uh, clears the eye. Really nice finish there. Snip away the waste piece. And that is your dirty Montana nymph. Now, to get the most out of this fly, especially when fishing it slow, we're going to rough it up a bit. We're going to be using a Stonefo dubbing brush just to pull out some of these fibers. Now, the wire will keep it secure so you can really go in rough on this. Underneath, on the side, make sure you're attacking it from all angles. Get between the eyes, like so. So that is our dirty Montana. As you can see there, once you've roughed it up, the fibers are going to give you plenty of movement, trap air bubbles, and look a lot more natural. As I said, I'd recommend teaming it up with a cruncher on the dropper. I saw this in today's Fly Fisher issue 6 uh, by Kieran Jenkins. It's a great little fly and he fishes them on two lo local waters which I fish a lot which are Elodine and Garnfrood. Um, it's a great little pattern and one I'd certainly have in my fly box all year round. If you've enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications icon so you never miss an episode and I'll see you in my next video.